Hi and welcome to the midterm review video. Um, so here is a midterm study guide that I have created and I will put up this study guide in the handout section uh, of Blackboard. Uh, but I want to walk you through this because this is predominantly going to be what you're going to be using while studying for the midterm. So the relevant chapters in your textbook are chapters 1, 3, 4 and 10, right? Chapter 1 for linguistics as cognitive science, 3 for phonetics and phonology, 4 for morphology and 10 for child language acquisition. So do uh, read all these chapters if you haven't uh, yet done so. And you also have an extra reading, which is an optional reading, which is O'Grady et al's chapter on language acquisition that many of you used while you did your child language acquisition assignment. Uh, and this is optional reading, so obviously uh, no question is going to come directly from it. Um, and no question is going to come directly from your chapter as well. Your chapters are really meant to be supplemental to my lecture slides. So. Uh, make sure that you go over all the lecture slides, right, meaning all the videos, and read the relevant chapters, review your pop quizzes and your assignments as well. And just as a reminder, I have face-to-face -face office hours, uh, and these are between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, and you are free to come in any time during that uh, period. You don't have to make an appointment with me uh, to see me during that time. Uh, these are open office hours. And so you can come and meet me during um, uh, my office hours next week if you want to, if you are uh, struggling with a concept, if you want a little bit more clarification. Uh, but always I'm available over email and I've given you my email over here. Uh, you can send me an email uh, with a clarification question or if you want to make another appointment with me. Your test is open book and I don't know if you saw my announcement. I decided that it's best that uh, you take the test online because it was really difficult to schedule everybody uh, with the time frame that I had in mind. Uh, I typically like the uh, test to be closed book, uh, but I realized that it doesn't really make a difference uh, for the purposes of this class. So uh, your test is going to be open book, uh, but obviously these are application level questions. So it's not something that you can directly copy off the textbook or off my lecture slide, for example. So you can use any of the material that I've given you for the test, uh, but your midterm is going to be a time test and you can only have one attempt at the midterm. So you will get 75 minutes in total and your midterm is going to be out of 25 points, uh, five points for linguistics as cognitive science, five points for phonetics, five points for phonology, five points for first language acquisition and five points for morphology. What I've given you here is a breakdown of each of the chapters and what I want you to know from each of the chapters and what I don't want you to know, right? Things I've taken off uh, from the midterm. So you are expected to know what is a system of language, what is linguistics, human language versus animal communication, distinctive characteristics of human language, and also my lecture slides, language is a biological mystery, language is human instinct, language and other instincts, independent evidence from intelligence, okay? So a mix of the textbook and my lecture slide for, for uh, module one. You're not expected to know I've taken out pages two to three, eight to nine, and 20 to 26 of your textbook. So don't read them. If you've read them, you don't need to remember them uh, for the midterm. Chapter three, English phonology. You're expected to know the anatomy of speech, IPA, consonants, vowels, phonemes and allophones, phonological rules, syllable and phonotactic uh, constraints. And my lecture slides are a lot more detailed than your uh, chapter, so make sure that you go over the lecture slides. You're not expected to know pages 83 to 89, Perception of Sound, A History of English Spelling. For phonetics, I would highly recommend you to uh, practice uh, words like you did for your assignment, uh, for example, and also uh, do the exercises on phonemes and allophones at the end of your textbook, at, at the end of chapter three of your textbook, if you haven't already done so, because that's really going to help you uh, with the questions in your midterm. Chapter four, English morphology. You are expected to know open and closed classes of morpheme, bound and free morpheme, inflectional and derivational bound morpheme, affixes, drawing morphological trees, ways of forming English words. And you're not expected to know page 100, 116, and 118 to 121. For morphology, I highly recommend uh, practicing a couple of morphological trees, uh, practicing what's a derivational and an inflectional morpheme, uh, and identifying parts of speech, right? Like what's a noun, what's a verb, what's an adjective, etc. 
For the last chapter, language acquisition, you're expected to know theories about children's language acquisition, children learning sounds, children learning words, and children learning grammars. And pay attention to my lecture slide because a lot of things could be different from your chapter in my lecture. And you're not expected to know 328 to 341. So here is a format of your midterm. You will have five points from each of the subsection, but from the first subsection, linguistics as cognitive science and human instinct, this is the only section where you will have short answer questions. Okay, uh, so the only thing where you have to kind of study uh, with respect to remembering a couple of points will be from your uh, linguistics as cognitive science. Uh, so make sure you're familiar with lecture slide. Uh, keep your by lecture slide, keep by lecture uh, video notes of the lecture video with you. Uh, as well as a chapter of the textbook. For all the other subsections, phonetics, phonology, acquisition, morphology, you will be solving problems just like you did in your assignment. So majority, 20 points of your midterm is going to be analytical. I'm not going to ask you short answer questions from that. I'm not going to ask you multiple choice questions, nothing. I'm just going to give you some problems to solve for five points each from each of those subsections, except for linguistics, Texas cognitive science. All right. So do keep this midterm with you, midterm study guide with you when you prepare for your midterm, but also it's open book. So try to prepare as many notes as you can because it is a timed test, one hour and 15 minutes. So you don't have a lot of time to go back and forth and back and forth to find the answer. All right. Now, I also uh, in class, what I do uh, for review is to play a Jeopardy game. And since it's online, the, this, this course is online, we can't really play a Jeopardy game, but what I will give you is the answer key to the Jeopardy game that I play online. Uh, sorry, I play in uh, class. So the questions are here on the left hand side and the answers are here on the right hand side. Try not to look at the answers. Try to go through each of the questions and answer them on your own individually before you try to find the answer. For a couple of questions here, that's going to really help you with like phonetics and phonology, uh, and morphology as well, as language acquisition as well. Uh, so really try to go over the review um, uh, before you uh, take the midterm. Uh, and I will post this as well on the handouts uh, on Blackboard. And as always, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. I really hope that you're happy with my decision of making the midterm an open book and making it online so that none of you have to come to campus to take it. So I really hope that you prepare well. I really want you to succeed in this class. I really want you to do well in the midterm. So let me know how I can help you with this. And remember, I'm here to help you succeed, not help you fail. Okay, so I will be happy to do my part in that. Just ask for help and uh, send me an email. Uh, or come and meet uh, with me uh, during my office hours. Good luck with the midterm.